So next, let's talk about some loops in Python. So loops iterate or repeat through a series of statements. Okay, it repeats either a specific number of times or until a condition is met. Okay, there's two possible scenarios. And so we talk about two different types of loops. There's a for loop that iterates for each item in a list, tuple, dictionary, or something like that. And the while loop iterates while a condition is met. And if that condition is not met, the loop is going to stop. Okay, so here's another example of a for loop. This is just silly, but uh, loop for each fruit, right? For every fruit in this list, if it's a list, repeat this process, repeat those statements for each fruit. Or with the while scenario, you can say while x is less than five, and so maybe you're counting here, and you start at two, you count up to three, and then to four, and then you stop before x gets to five. Okay, so in that scenario, you're stopping or you're going while it's less than five. And if it reaches five, you're going to stop at that point. So we have for loops and while loops. So let's go look at some of these in Python. So if you want to follow along with this code and run it on your own, a link will be on the page. So remember, we've got two types of loops, a for loop and a while loop. A for loop iterates over a sequence like a list or a dictionary. And a while loop iterates while a Boolean condition is met. Okay, so let's start with for loops. Let's use this example. Let's say we want to loop for each string in a list. Okay, and we're going to use companies in this case. So maybe we've got a list suppliers list, three companies inside of it. And for each of those suppliers, we just want to print their name. And so what we're saying is for X in suppliers. So in this case, X is used to designate an individual item. And you could use something else. You could use I, you could use supplier like... Um, a singular form of it. It doesn't mean it has to be X. It's just the example we're using here. But I'm going to run this, and what it should do is print each name of the company. So I control enter, and yeah, there I go. I see company A, B, and C. It's printed each of those, and it stopped once it got to the end of the list. Let's try something else here, still in the for loop. We are going to loop for each number in a range. So we can use range to generate a range, and for each item in that range, just go ahead and print it. Okay, let's see what this gives us. So it's going to start at 0 and go to 5. There's six numbers in that range there, 0 included. And it's printing each of them. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now let's try this a little bit differently. Let's loop for each number in a range where we increment by 2. And the range is going to be from 2 up until, you know, up until 20, it's actually going to stop before that. And so start at 2, go up into 20, but increment by 2. Okay, so that's what that, that logic means there. The start, the finish, and the increment. And so if we print this, or run this, what we should see is it printing that range and also by that increment. So 2, 4, 6, 8, because the increment is 2. It's not going to get up to 20. It's going to stop before that. Here's another way of looking at this. Um, what we're going to do is incorporate things called continues and breaks here. So we're still saying four items in this range. But we're using a range of 10. Okay. We're going to print it. But what we want to do is try something here. Um, we're actually adding uh, if statements into this. So if the x or the item is a 3. What we're going to do is continue, which means just go immediately to the next item in the range. Okay, the next item in the sequence. So it won't actually print anything in that scenario. Now, we're also going to add an if, where it's going to say if x gets to 7, then break, which means just stop the loop. So what should happen is we shouldn't go beyond that. Let's just see how that works. And actually, it shouldn't even print 7 because we're going to break before the print occurs uh, within the sequence here. So I'm going to try to run this. And I see I get 0 is where it's going to start. It's going to go to 1, 2. And then when x is 3, it's not going to print it because it just skipped to the next iteration. And then it goes to 4, 5, and 6. But when it gets to 7, before it prints it, it's going to break and stop the loop. Again, that's why you don't see 7, 8, 9, right? So continues are, and breaks are something that we can build into these loops. 
okay? Let's also try this. Let's do one more for loop here. So we're gonna loop for each number in a range and include an else. So in for loops, just like in if statements, you could include else's. So for items in this range, range of five, print it. And then when you essentially, when you get through the items, what you're gonna do is print no more items and it'll stop after that point. Okay, so let's try to run this. And I see it's gonna print, you know, it's gonna loop through that range. And then when it finishes with that, it's gonna go to the else statement and complete and just print out no more items essentially. Okay, so you can have else statements in these for loops. Now let's talk about loop while. With loop while, what we're gonna do is loop while a condition is true. Okay, so what we're gonna say here is, we're actually just gonna create this, uh, this counter as a kind of example. And what we're gonna say is our count is gonna start at one. And then we're gonna say while the count is less than six. So while that condition is met, perform this loop. Okay, so we're gonna print the count. And then after we print it, we're essentially going to just take the count, add one to it, and overwrite that variable. Okay, so it's gonna start at one, and then when after it gets through the first loop, it's gonna be at two, and so on. Now, another way to write this in Python, I have just uh, commented it out, but is to say count plus equals one. It's just kind of a shorter way of writing this uh, line right above it here. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what this looks like. Okay, so what's gonna happen is the first iteration is gonna be one because that's where the counter started. Then after it prints that, it's gonna add another one. It's gonna get to two, three, four, five. And then it, when it, before it gets to six, or when it gets to six, it's gonna stop because it knows, oh wait, that condition is no longer met. The loop is gonna stop at that point.